And with us now are two people who witnessed the attack and its aftermath. We have Gene Duffy here and Anthony, who's asked us not to use his last name. And good morning to both of you. I'm, I'm glad to be with you, Gene. You and I met yesterday. You work here. Your son goes to school here. This is our neighborhood. Yes. Uh, Anthony, tell me, tell me what you saw. I was waiting for my son to pick him up from school. And I was in my car on the passenger side, the back door, and I heard a big smash. So then I looked up and I saw the bus, after it hit the pickup truck, hit the bus. It was coming right at my car. But then the driver swerved uphill on Chamber Street. And then I looked back down to the pickup truck to see if the guy was okay. And You he, thought it was an accident. I thought it was an accident. And literally, he had his hands up in the air, and I saw guns in his hands, waving them and coming towards me. But then went around the truck and then went towards West Side Highway. At that point, I literally just went and started grabbing kids and saying, get back in the school, get back in the school. There's a shooter, there's a shooter. And I was just pushing kids back in the school, looking for my son to make sure he's not out. I didn't see him and I just pushed the kids back in and then I ran up the block to get the police that were at Stuyvesant to point them down in the right direction. And the police actually asked you to come identify the shooter later. Can you tell me about that? Yes, I was escorted down to the ambulance. The perpetrator was in the ambulance and I, I just said, yep, that was him. He had a red stripe on his shirt and he was all bloody and he was in the ambulance. Gene, you and I met yesterday on this very corner. You were you're working near here. You were walking home. Can you tell me what you saw? Well, when I got out of work, I was crossing the street. And for some reason, behind me, I heard screaming, loud screaming. So it was a different kind of scream. So when I went back, it was a female yelling really loud. I went back and I looked. I seen the white pickup truck in the bike path. And all of a sudden, I knew something was wrong. When I got closer to the lady, is when I seen that there were people on bikes that were run over and you know they were not with us no more they passed away and she, that's what she saw and she was hysterical crying screaming she was on the phone with somebody and it, it was all, all the cops came running and they, they don't even know what's going on you know they were just as confused as I was I didn't I didn't expect this to see something like this you know I just came out of work I'm trying to get home and seeing this is it, it's crazy. And when you saw that, you saw two individuals. I saw two individuals. You knew like in that. your heart. Yeah, I knew they. I knew they weren't with us no more because you, you could just tell the shape they were in. Their body wasn't like you know. If somebody gets hit by a car going 20 miles per hour, they're okay. They're moving. These guys, no, they had no movement, nothing. How fast do you think the car was going? About 50 miles per hour. I I didn't know where he got on until. You know, later on when I sat down after all of this happened and I found out he got on the path at Houston Street. That's a long ways. Yeah. I mean, I just came out of work, Pier 26, and I don't know if he missed me or I missed him, but, you know, somebody was looking out for me because that could have easily been me. Anthony, I mean, I know it's so emotional. You, this is, you're going, there's a school right there. You're going to pick up your son. How, how are you processing this this morning? How is your little boy well, doing? He went trick-or-treating last night. He was like, okay, just like normal day. He went trick-or-treating. He was fine. Did his homework. And, uh, you know, he's back to school today. Yeah. So, like a normal day. You know, and now they have to put more barricades up on these bike paths. So, no cars can be on that, you know, to prevent this all. Well, it was quite a day, and I thank you both for being here early this morning and sharing your story. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Glad to see you, Gene and Anthony. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.